Over the last few years, there's been lots of changes when it comes to shipping your products to Amazon's fulfillment centers. So in this video, you're going to see behind the scenes of a quality control system using 1080p high def cameras. The goal of this video is to share with you a setup that you can work towards or implement straight away into your operations so that you can be sure that all your shipments, 100% of your shipments are quality controlled throughout every single step of the process. And if there are any problems or if there's anything that Amazon says, you are going to have the actual footage, the history to be able to share with them that they may be wrong. This is something that we've experienced over the last six years, being able to, we started shipping from at home, just like many of us do. We started shipping in our living room, um, doing everything we possibly could, uh, doing everything throughout the, the process, making sure our products are right, labeling everything, bubble wrapping everything. But over the years, we've learned a lot as Amazon's evolved and we've had to evolve. So by the end of this video, you're actually gonna see behind the scenes of a high def quality control system throughout this entire shipping process. And I'm actually gonna show you the screens and the footage and everything that we have at our disposal now that we collect for our shipments and our partner's shipments. The reason why this is super important is um, I remember when we started shipping at home, um, at that moment in time, there was myself and Kylie in our living room and we was doing everything ourselves. Everything from, uh, we just started to hire sourcing assistants and we were purchasing products. We were getting products delivered at home and we had UPS coming to pick up from home and we were doing everything. We were um, creating shipments, we were printing out the labels, we were going through everything in piles in our living room. Um, making sure things are, you know, the products are labeled correctly and anything that said it needed bubble wrapping, um, we, we would bubble wrap and bundle and bag and, and tape and everything else that's required. But times have evolved over the years where you can't get away with many of the things that you once did. Uh, let me give you a couple of examples of this. Uh, when we first started back in 2015, Amazon would very, very easily um, reconcile your shipments uh, without any questions. Uh, you would reconcile a shipment, they wouldn't even question it, and they would just give you reimbursements. Or Amazon would just accept any boxes that come through uh, into their fulfillment centers. They wouldn't really weigh anything. And we were very, at the, the early stages, we didn't have these systems in place. We didn't have um, the quality control measures in place that we do now, and we were getting away with it. You know, I remember not even weighing. Uh, we didn't even weigh our boxes in that our first couple of months, and we had or we got the the bathroom weighing scales, and we would put um, the box on a bathroom weighing scale, move the box, and would just try to catch the number so we could put some type of um, weight on there. Or some of our boxes were super heavy back in the day when the limit was 30 kilograms. Um, it'd be super heavy. Uh, some of these, the boxes were really, really big and we'd cram in as absolutely as much as we possibly could. But over the years, Amazon have clamped down on this. They have made it a lot more difficult or a lot more uh, com compliant to making sure that every single one of your shipments have to be correct or they're going to pull you up on it. They're going to send you a notification saying that they have suspended shipments. And so much of the evolution of Amazon, it's forced us as sellers to also evolve our systems. And to the point where, for us, um, we are now, uh, we've had many examples where uh, Amazon have said and stated something like um, a product hasn't been bubble wrapped or um, um, poly bagged, and we know it clearly has. And we've been able to actually give the footage of the actual shipment to prove that that is the case. So we've evolved our systems over the years. We started just ourselves, uh, myself and Kylie doing everything we could uh, while having a, a Harper, she was less than one years old. And then we moved into our first warehouse and we started to introduce multiple levels of quality control. And we started with one step, one level of quality control, where we um, put a rule in our shipping processes that 
anybody that prepares a product is not allowed to actually place those products within the boxes or within the pallet. And that allowed us to have a verification, one step verification, just to ensure that if, if there is something wrong, the likelihood somebody else is going to spot it. And that, is, that was one of the first uh, quality control measures that we put in. Then last year when we moved into this 10,000 square foot warehouse, we then started to, uh, we walked in with a completely um, empty uh, shell and myself, I was thinking, we need to re redesign our systems. We need to come up with a, an even a, a greater quality control system. And we completely redesigned our shipping systems to have these streams. And the streams that you see behind us, there's multiple streams throughout this warehouse. And with those streams also comes multiple stages of the shipping process. So we, in this warehouse now, we actually have uh, multiple stages from inbound to everything gets logged in in our inbound area at the bottom. Then it goes into our shipment creation process, which is a separate team, uh, creating all the shipments. Then it goes to our picking team to actually pick the shipments. Then it goes to our processing team halfway down um, that actually prepares all the, the products. And then it comes all the way to our quality control station here, uh, which is the last line of defense to ensure everything is done. So throughout the entire process, we now have multiple layers of protection. And the goal of that is to ensure that every single product is to the, the best of our ability. And one of the things that the stream system allowed us to do just to uh, let you know what it actually is, um, we developed a, um, it's basically one big uh, stream, it's one big table, and we actually have um, trays that run the whole length, the whole length all the way from down there, all the way to here. And everything is, it's like semi-automated because we've got them on, on wheels. And then at the end, um, the, the boxer, the, at the quality control stage, we actually have the ability to run the trays all the way back to the start. And when we developed this system, um, we, we sort of was brainstorming about, okay, we've now got these multiple levels of protection, but we also need to start gathering evidence. And that is when um, approximately 12 months ago, I created the first video sharing that we actually have Wi-Fi, 1080p high def cameras that record everything that is shipped. And I went in depth on how that worked. But this year we've actually evolved that even further. Um, and now we actually have not just um, cameras at our quality control end, we also have cameras at our uh, processing stations. We also have cameras at our picking stations. And this allows us to capture the full journey of the products throughout our warehouse. And the reason why that is really, really useful is because one, it allows us to uh, gather evidence in the event that something, a uh, notification comes from Amazon, we can actually present them the information, the video footage, the screenshot of the, of the actual items that we can prove that it's been uh, polybagged, for example. Um, but also we can learn Right? We can learn as a, a team um, because it's all about no matter what happens in your business, if you're able to learn from it, if you're able to go and, and discover the, the root cause analysis on what actually happened, why did it happen? Was there a system failure? Was there something, um, was the system not quite right? Or was the system followed? Or does our training need to be better? These are the things that you start to learn when you've actually got the footage. Okay, so this is the actual uh, quality control station. Um, they're very narrow because we're now in streams instead of one big table. And um, our boxes and our quality control team can actually stand in this area right here. They've got a laptop right in front of them, which they can see all the shipments. Um, our team in the, in the office there, they can actually shoot the shipments to be expected on this stream to the laptop where all the products can be checked on Amazon to make sure it's the, the right product that can make sure that it's the, um, 
the right size, the right variant, the right color, the right weight. Um, make sure that the, the label that's on the product is actually the right label for that product. And everything can be checked on this laptop here. They've obviously got the materials here. They've got a hole right here for any um, waste that they, they may have. And you can see the stream goes all the way down to the bottom. Now, what you may not see, and I'm gonna move the camera so you can actually see this, and we're gonna go on a little bit of a, a journey here. What you can see right above my head here, these are our cameras on these bits of Unistrut right here. These are um, the original cameras when we started to come up with this idea in the first place, uh, coming up with the, uh, the quality control um, project in the first place. As I move down, you may see um, on right up there, you can see some black dots, hopefully. Oh, let's move that back this way. There we go. You can see some black dots on the ceiling here. Okay, all the way around. Um, they're our processing cameras. Um, so you, they are bird's eye view for the, the processing cameras. And let us move all the way down here. And what you can see up here, hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Here we go. Um, these white dots there, they're the cameras at the picking stage, okay? This is what allows us to record each of the stages. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna move into the, um, into the office and you're gonna be able to, I'm gonna show you the screen and you're gonna be able to see what we can actually see on the camera. So let's go do that now. So when it comes to... So I'm now in the office on the other end of the cameras that we saw out in the warehouse. This is our quality control station here. And this is actually the three screens that shows us the other end and the live footage of the camera systems that we saw out in the warehouse. When it comes to actually selecting the camera system, you want to think about um, purchasing the best quality cameras that you possibly can. Um, the better the, the image, um, it's obviously gonna help for you to see the details. Um, you also want to think about the hard drive and how much you can actually save within the hard drive. The, the bigger the hard drive that you can get in these systems, the better, whether that is multiple terabyte or even be able to connect to the cloud so that you can access that footage again. And these systems allow you to have many different functions within those systems. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna click on a, um, a for, for example, um, this allows you to zoom into a one of the cameras and we can do that across the entire stage. Um, I can zoom into um, one of the, uh, the picking of one of the streams. I can go into one of the, the processing stations of one of the streams. Um, and here at the, the quality control end, I can um, go into one of the streams if I wanted to. So I can go big picture, I can, um, I can change the uh, display to view all four, I can, um, I, can, I can split screen to two, I can, there's many different options that I can, uh, we can utilize on what you want to look at. Um, but the great thing about the, the whole purpose of this is, is actually to be able to go back over the footage. And every single one of these systems allows us to go on to a, a playback mode. And the playback mode um, allows you to click on any of the streams, go back in history, and specifically view a moment in time. And that is one of the reasons why you want to collect the data, you know, the date, the time, the actual uh, shipment, uh, that you, the shipment ID that you're working on, because then you'll be able to go back specifically to a moment in time, okay? You can go back to, uh, any date that you like. Um, you can go back to a very specific time, to the second. You can really get this footage um, and you can, you can export it. You can take a photo of it. You can take a recording of it on, on a mobile device. And it allows you to get that footage in, in real time. So we can actually go um, back to any, 
uh, playback, I'm just going to go on to video playback here, um, I can go to any date in our history and I can actually specifically, um, depending on what channel we want to, to actually look at, uh, I'm just going to go back, um, I'm just going to go back a month and um, I can go back to a specific moment in time and I can specifically look at the 14th of this particular month. I can then look at what, uh, I can click on the actual time that I want to look at um, and, and that specific time, I can then see the, the history, I can actually see the team working at that moment in time. We can take a, a, a snapshot, we can export specific moments of that time. Um, there's many, many things that we can do and we can specifically look at uh, whatever information that we're, we, we're wanting to find. Okay. Um, there's, there's many different reasons, like I said out there, why you would want to do this. Uh, one from quality control purposes, so you can tell Amazon, but also you can do it for training purposes. Um, there's, there's obviously security purposes. There's, there's so many different um, functions of developing your systems in this particular way. Um, inside the actual settings, there's, there's many different um, settings that you can um, that you can set, like for example, when when does the system actually record? You can put different timings. Um, I'm just going to close that screen right here. Um, there's different timings of the day. Let's say you want to record only nine to five. Um, they're the good ideas when it comes to um, so you're not recording wasted time. You only want the systems to record when you're actually shipping. If you're shipping at the night time, you can extend that to uh, you know up to 12 p.m. Or um, if you ship all the time, you can obviously ship all the time. Um, but these these are the the systems that we've developed over the the last um, as we've focused on our quality control. It is one of our uh, core values and um, something that we do with all our partners that we have the pleasure of serving um, it's one of the things that we want to ensure that we're uh, we, we are ab absolutely take quality control at 100% it's paramount it's super important for us to ensure that we get things correct um, and if we if, if there is something that comes from Amazon a notification we're going to want to go back into the history, find out what happened, prove that we did something correct, learn if we did something incorrect. And this is the process of learning. This is the process of developing your systems. And that is um, one of the, the, the advancements that we've made over the last uh, sort of 12 months in this system that we have. We also have other quality control and security cameras around the warehouse um, to capture any, any footage for security purposes. And we can also, we can specifically see what's happened across an entire shipment, all the way from coming in, all the way to going out. And that's super, super important. So we just wanted to create this video I hope it's been beneficial for you. We've had a number of questions since the last video that we, we created talking about warehouse systems. This, in my opinion, is um, something that uh, we're proud of, something that's unique, something that um, I thought about as I, as I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about how to evolve our systems. I'm thinking about how to innovate. I'm thinking about how to make our our system and our service the best way we possibly can. And it's one of the things that our partners have really, really enjoyed. And it's something that, um, you know, we as a, as a business and as a service, we always want to approve on. Um, and, and that's certainly what we do. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you did, if you want any more information, don't hesitate to comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions and help you on your journey if, if I can do. Um, I do enjoy creating videos of behind the warehouse, create so many videos around Amazon FBA, everything from virtual assistants, the teams, warehouses, create lots of different tours in the past. There's, there's going to be some great videos that pop up and anything else that you want to see. But my name is Kev. Thank you so much for being here. As always, keep taking massive action in your business. Keep innovating, keep growing, keep learning, keep building off failures, successes, things that you can innovate in your business. And over time, you will get uh, more and more advanced. I remember when we started on the floor, now we've got cameras. 
and uh, it's um, it's a byproduct of always working, striving to improve, and it's something that we do all the time. So take care, keep taking massive action, and I look forward to seeing you in the very next video. Bye-bye.